Hi guys, welcome back. Welcome everyone. Sunday morning here. <laughs> um, right, I'm going to turn this piece here. Now this is a bit of wood I got when I got the wood off the guys that was cutting the tree up the road. A bit of weeping ash, this is. Um, I cut a bit down and I had this, this slab out of it left. So I'm going to turn that today. Now, it's still a bit wet. Um, I don't know what it's going to turn like. It's got a lot of... Uh, green here and stuff so I don't know what it's going to look like but trouble with it it's a bit like a wedge of cheese at the moment let's do some measurements so I've got at the moment it's 13 and a half inches just under 14 inches in diameter and the problem I've got is it's 70 mil or two and three quarter inches here and it's only an inch and a half or 40 mil here at its finish point Right, it's, it's fairly flattish on this side. Um, got a lot of chainsaw marks on it. And this is where I've got to take this down. So what I've got to do first, and, oh, and it's not round, I've got to take literally half an inch off of here for it to be round because I had this flat spot here. So it's quite out of balance mm -hmm. there. So first thing I want to do is bring it all down to the same inch and a half. It's gonna be a shallow tray, just a tray type, not a bowl. Um, I wanna bring it down to that, so I've gotta get rid of quite a bit of this bulk on this side. Okay, so I can't turn it too fast. Um, I'm just gonna bring that in there. Get that so on, on that bit. I'm gonna take that down, and then what I'm probably gonna do is put a recess in the bottom, so I can turn it around, get it on a chuck, Get this end sorted so this will be the bottom and then I'll be hollowing this side out afterwards and I'll get my foot and everything put on that. So I'm just going to play it by ear and see how it goes. Okay? It's, it's pretty... Yeah. <laughs> right. It's not just any Sunday today, is it, baby? No, it's not. What day is it today? It is... <laughs> our wedding anniversary. Yay. <laughs> yeah. And so, we're sharing it with every one of you. Yeah. <laughs> so this is our wedding anniversary today. <laughs> so, and I'm out here turning. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm no, filming. <laughs> we can't go, we're actually, we're, we're going out next week for our anniversary. We yeah. can't do it this week because it's fireworks. Oh God, the And oh, oh, the, dog. the dogs are having a nightmare. Oh, Jasmine last Jasmine. night was absolutely, I thought she was hyperventilating. Yeah, she She's so oh. bad. They were so loud, the fireworks. Um, and it's going to be again the same tonight, so we can't, we just cannot leave them. No, we cannot leave them. There so, are babies. There we go. So <laughs> we're, we're we're going out next week. We're going to have a nice meal and everything out, and we've got also Dolly Parton next week. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's get going on this now. What I'm going to do, I could use a, a bowl gouge, but I'd have to be doing a pull cut here, and then I'm going to be scraping it. I don't want to scrape with my bowl gouges, so I'm going to use a 15mm round carbide chisel. Mm. Now I could use the square, but I think the square could be a bit grabby, so I'm going to use the round. I'm just going to come in gently and just, all I want to do is get this bolt down here. Get this, 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 this bit away, I'm not cutting nothing from this side. Okay, now I'm holding between two step centers. I'm not putting a face plate on because it's not even. This, this actually lines it up, I can sort of straighten it up a bit better with that. So I've got my speed turned down, I'm going to turn it on. I can't get it very fast because obviously it's going to wobble, it's really out of balance. That's just on the wobble, that's at seven and a half. Okay, so I'm going to start on that. Way too slow for carbide anyway. I'm just going to do this to... More to shelter leaf in it. Again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's a bit better. See now again, if I go in flat, I can feel it's a little bit bouncy, but if you just roll it slightly, it makes it a bit easier.
I mean, this is way too slow for carbide. But, I don't really want to be using my bowl gouge on it at the moment. Right, that's doing all right. That's getting that down. It's got, still got a fair bit to go. Let's bring that in. Make sure nothing's going to hit. And let's keep going. Might get a speed up a little bit more. I don't know. Yeah, because see, because I've taken some of that away already. Now I'm at 870, and it's still not, still not vibrating. See, just that hundred and something makes a difference. Look, how much is it? Oh. to me, see? just get it to all be round but I've still got some more to take okay until I get that cut this right I'll be I'm right round to there round to there so it's not going to be long before I get a cut that's right across it so that's all right that's not too bad I can bring that in a little bit no hang on yep that's it right that's going good mm -hmm. all right might get a little bit more speed on it Yep, now I'm just over a thousand. Now it's better. got a little bit to go get that bit but that's all right it's doing well okay we'll keep on make sure that's not going to hit yeah that's all good right looks i've taken a little bit more i'm going to add another 100 right we're 11 and a half really hear the difference and see the difference. So I'm not getting all that bounce. Where I want to get the front round. So I'm going to use the 15 mil square. I just want to get the front round. Now we start to get a bit of vibration. As I'm taking this bit away, I'm getting a bit of vibration now. I've still got a bit to go there, see? Right, I'm just gonna check and make sure everything's still tight. Yep, we're all still tight, nothing's moved. Right, that's all right then. I'll take it just down a little notch. That's it, vibration's gone. Hang on, come back up a bit. 
Right, we're just over the thousand. Shakes again. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right, now slowly bring it back up. How do you need to stop drinking? <laughs> See, that's all right. That's 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 round now. And as I've got it round, it's starting to shake. <laughs> right. Okay. Let's go back over to the round chisel. a bit more speed. Whoa, hang on, let's go through it. Yeah, let's go One more part and that should be alright. <laughs> no, we've still got a little bit here. I've still not got it down to exactly the same diameter. So just a tiny little bit to go. Right, okay, let's start up again. Let's put that bit of vibration. Right, okay, that's it. And the 1400, 1450. I'm going to work quick. Should be alright. Now I'm gonna work on getting the mortars put in there for me. So uh what do I want to do? Right, first of all I'm gonna come in here, see if I can clean this up a little bit of square here. Right, I can't get in there with a the square. So I'm going with my detail 90. See, my detail 90 chisel allows me to get into that angle, this, this don't bother me, see? Right, okay, so I'm going to be putting it in those jaws up there. It's going to be my, uh, going to be my sharp jaws, I reckon. 
So we're two and a half inches just over. So I'm going to set my uh, calipers so I can get this right. Two and a half is also two and a half on it. The outer is two and a half just over. Just under two and a half, I think. Here we go. Yeah, a bit of wood fell off. Wonder what that was then. It's all good to get in there because I've got the towel stop in the way. Yeah. Turn this up a little bit. If I can get that stuff. That's it, that should do me. <laughs> right, yeah, I should be able to get hold of that. That should be all right. Right, I might just, I've got a slight raise there, so I'm just going to get rid of that. So that will register on the back. Now, so can I come in here? Yes, I can. If I can do that, I should be able to get this back edge done. There you go, clean that up with a detail 90. That's what that's good for. Yeah, all right. <laughs> calm down, calm down. Calm down. <laughs> right, okay. We've got that flattened off on the front. I can't think you've told us, does it? Right, we've got that flattened, flattened off on the front anyway. Now that that's not going to bother me because my jaws are going to go over that. That's why I've done it for the shark jaws okay i wouldn't be able to if i was doing it for these jaws i would have had to take those off i'm going to take the step center out this one i won't be using that one take this off and so this is just how i do it guys should all be okay from that. That's running a bit better now by the looks of it. Yep, and I'm going to be bringing my life centre up. This one. Actually, I'm not going to use that one because that's probably going to put a, a too big a hole in the bottom. I'm going to go to my former step centre will be better. Right, that's... Uh, wind it out a bit because I don't want the shawl rest too close to it. The uh, banjo, I mean to... Uh, towel stop! <laughs> that's the thing. That's the one. <laughs> that's the one, that's the thing, isn't it? <laughs> right, okay. I am hell again. <laughs> right, now I'm going to move this out of the way so I can just start up and see what, what she does. Oops. 
देखो तो गए कुछ हुए All right, I'm going to have to get that shaped a little bit first. Well, I can get it to 840 without it wobbling. Right, okay. I'll bring that down a bit. We're staying around at the moment just to clean this side up. Chainsaw marks on the back. Mm -hmm. A little bit high. I'm a little bit high there. Not bad, not bad cut on that. Right, okay. This is sort of where I want to get. I think what it is, is this wood must obviously weigh a bit more one side than it does the other. Yeah, it feels like it's down there. Yeah, see, this side is heavier. That's why I'm getting that wobble. Although I've got it round, um, it's still got that, although I've still got a bit more thickness here than I have 
there, but I'm going to be taking that out when I come round. So I just want to get the bottom of it done now. Um, and I'm going to be putting a, I reckon I'm going to be putting a recess on here. I don't want to do that yet until I get down to where I want to be. Right, because then I can take that away and get the recess once I've got this all how I want it to be. Okay. So, get it back up, yeah, go through that. Right. Some of actually making a rattle. There's something on here that's just rattling. No, something's touching it somewhere. Oh well, we're alright. We ain't going nowhere. Another 40 RPM, just calmed it down. <laughs> That's better. Those bumps out. Let me get those bumps out. Let me go back to the detail 90 for a minute. Just get those bumps out. on the bottom of that, that first now so I'm going to actually come in here with a spindle gouge 
to bring this. It's going to be quite big. I think I want to do. I don't know actually. Yeah, that's certainly, isn't it? Let me stop and think. Let me have a look first. Oh, we've got a nice, quite a nice finish on there, but we've only scraped that. We're going to do a, a clean up on that in a minute. But the Detail 90 gave me that ability to go in and get rid of all the bumps. Because with the AU, I was just riding over the. Because I was riding on the. So I was using the bevel of it coming across here. All I was doing was actually riding over the bumps and following them. I weren't taking them away. Um, and I didn't want to at that point take a push cut around that way. So, right, okay. Now, I want to decide on what I want to do with my foot. Um, if I want to do a small recess, but then do a foot out here. Mm. Yeah, I'm thinking. So if I do the, uh, let's see. Uh, well, right, let's get me centre first. Right, there's me centre. Right. So if I go for my two and a half, which would be one and a quarter. Yeah. Right, okay. So if I do that as my recess, but then make my foot out here, that should be enough for that to sit on. Yeah, okay, I'll go with that. I'll do that. That should be all right. Yep. Right, let's check this is still tight because obviously we're on a... Yep, that's fine. I need to do no cranking. Right, okay, so I'm gonna do my recess here. So I don't, I don't really want, I don't know, do I want my recess or do I want to do a... I might actually do a tenon there. And then take this away a bit. Oh, do, no, I want this. I'm going to come in a bit. No, I'm going to do a recess. I've, I've made up my mind. I'm doing a recess. Right, okay, let's get it up. Start doing it and then it's done. Up. 
Might do a few little lines in that middle there or something, just something to do a bit. Right, okay, so that's what I'm going to have. And then I'm going to come around from here. Or any coming? Oh, well, I'm near enough up against that, so I can't remove that. I'm going to take more of that corner away actually. I don't want it to be round like that, I want it to be more from that foot and then yeah I don't know really <laughs> I'm working this as I'm going along I don't really don't know what I'm doing as is probably evident really right we'll clean this up with push push for the moment
Right, that's more the shape I want. Mm -hmm. Come around there like that. That's more what I'm after. So I've got to take quite a bit of that off of the front yet to bring that in so that should give me that shape I want. That's what I'm looking for. Don't touch that before you're ready though. <laughs> right, that's feeling nice. Very tiny little, or just something, a little bit there. Just feel something there. moving a little bit too fast. Not the lathe me. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay, let's have a look. <laughs> right now I've got a couple I've got this this mark here, that's what I was seeing. Right, but that's looking alright though. Mm -hmm. That's just taking a bit of time cleaning this little bit up. Just there I've got it. Right. I think what I'm gonna do for that, I'm gonna quickly sharpen that. Two seconds. Mm -hmm. This will probably go around there. Mm -hmm. Give it a very quick sharpen. cleaned up and get that tool mark gone. Seem to just get that. I'm just getting that little line. Just seeing it. Just stand here, and I might be able to get it better. Oh no, that, I can feel that vibrating. I 
That's better. More awkward because when you got the brain of the wood as well, but that's it, that's gone now. That's alright now. Right, okay, I'm gonna do a bit of sand. Oh actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just uh the sake of it, I'm going to put a couple of little... A couple of little rings just inside there. Just just for the fun of it. Um, while I'm here, I'll put a little dip in there as well. Right. There we go, yeah, I'll be happy with that. Right, we put these other tools away for the moment. And I want to do a little bit of sanding on it. And then I'll start doing the front. going to have an oil on it because it is still quite sort of damp this wood and I'm actually really liking using oils at the moment mm. so we've got some of that dust out of there and besides that I don't think it's going to look very nice I'll turn it down, I'll put it up. still got that bit at that point <laughs> um, I don't think it would look very nice with a wax on it anyway. Mm. It's it's not got a, a it hasn't got any nice sort of. Um, well, I don't really know, but it's 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 not. 
Well, my oil's gone off in that, so let's get rid of that. That's it. Okay. Right, as usual, I'm going to put it on with it running at first. Yeah, we managed to get that tool mark out in the end. It was just getting that little bit of vibe, that little bit of bounce as I was coming across it, which was making me struggle there. Yeah, we're still, still our thickness is wrong here. See, I'm, I'm quite, you can't see it there, but mm -hmm. I'm quite thin there, but I'm still got to fit. So I've still got to get some off of this front. That's why I'm getting that little bit of wobble. But that's not bad look, actually. That actually looks quite nice, that wood. Yeah. And like I say, I don't want the tray, I want the tray to just be a, a shallow tray. I don't want a lip on it or anything like that. Yeah. That's, that's what I'm, I'm aiming for. In my mind's eye. <laughs> right, okay, let's put my spindle girls back and see what we're going to use on this when we turn it around and doing what we've got to do. Oh, uh, wrong way, that's it. <laughs> that way. Right, okay, that's looking very nice, that. See, now as you can see, I've still got a bit of thickness here compared to what I've got here. I've still got this little bit of sloping down here. That's why I'm still getting that bit of vibration there. But that shouldn't be too bad now. Right. Same with the same chuck, same jaws. Right, tight, and a little nip, that's all it is. Right, yeah, so that's nice and smooth on the back now, and now we'll be able to get this front sorted out, get it hollowed in. So you got to be sure, it's, it's, as I say, it's more for like a tray, not a, it's not a bowl. It's not a bowl and it's not a dish. It's got that pink, pink colour of it again. That colour again, <laughs> yeah. Right, what I'm going to do, so I'm going to be removing that, I'm going to put the step centre up, just for when I first start up. Because I've just turned it around, put it onto that. I want to make sure it's not going to come off or go anywhere. So I like to, and that tells me I've got dead center as well. So I'm going to let this wind out a little bit. That's it. Now lock it. That's it. That's all I'm going to do. Just going to let me know whether it's going to go anywhere. So I'm going to start up. Let me speed up. Still got a little bit there. Gone through it. Right, get back to where we had it, because we was all right at that. And that's at 14.50. Right, and this time I'm gonna move over, I'm gonna go on to a, a bowl gouge for the moment. We're gonna have a go with a bowl gouge, okay?
good. because this is just in the way now. We don't want that left left in the middle there like that. That looks stupid. <laughs> and it ain't helping no one. No. I mean I'm gonna get a bit of noise here because it's it's quite thin and it's so wide so it's always gonna make that little bit of noise. But it don't mean anything's wrong. Recess, so I've got to be careful. Mm -hmm. I can't go. Oh, no, I don't know. <laughs> I 
to remember that recess. It's the only thing we have in the recess, isn't it? Yeah, I'm just, I don't know. <laughs> Right, okay. Oh, I think I've got a little bit just there. Just there.
Sorry? Well, I was a little bit concerned at one point that I might go through the middle. But I didn't. Yeah. Right, let me get a... Because this is a flat regard for you the bigger one. So I'm going to just go over to a bigger sanding pad because I am out of my smaller... I'm out of these, I've, I've actually run out. Did you see that? Yeah. These. Yeah. So I'm going to go to these bigger ones. So I'll never use this pad really. But that's going to be ideal for this because of its size anyway. Mm -hmm. Well I don't know what that means, so let's turn that off for a minute. I'll start off with that. Right. Because I could actually stand through that. Nah, it feels alright. I haven't gone that soon. So I would have actually round that a little bit. It's the first time I've used this big pad. And look, the Velcro's peeling off of it already, look. It's the first time I've used it. Look. 
Yeah, first time I've ever used it. Look, the bloody Velcro's coming off on it. Let's get a bit of super glue on that. Well, mine are not cheap. Not cheap at all. Okay, that is that done. Right, as usual, I'm going to put the first bit of oil on with it running. Oh, I don't need that because I've already got it here. I don't know what this is going to look like. I ain't seen it since we started turning the inside. <laughs> Let's have a look. What have we got? Oh, look at that. That's actually really nice. See, that's where you think you've got lines, but it ain't. It's the that's actual, actual pattern. <laughs> the grain of that makes it look like you've got lines on it. But anyway, that's our tray. Look at that. That is actually pretty. You thought it was going to be boring. <laughs> I did, actually. Oh, I need to take a little little trim on that edge. I've got a little rough, just a little tiny little rough bit there. Mm -hmm. Must have just missed that, slightly missed that bit. That won't, oh, I'll drop that in there. That'd take me one second to just give that a little, and this is where that famous thing is, one last cut. <laughs> Ain't it? No, that's going to be easy. Right, let's get that. Right, okay. And that's going to be the spindle gas for that. Right. Spin to go for a nice long grind. Smaller spindle go. a little bit of a uh, hand paper. Put the extractor on this one. Sorry? Put the extractor on this one. No, that's it, it's done. <laughs> that's it, it's done. Oh, okay. <laughs> Good oil on that. Let me go for a check. Yeah, it was just on here. There was a little bit that I hadn't caught. Mm. That's all gone. That's beautiful. Mm. Right, that's my uh that's my tray. Yeah. No, it's a platter, it's a tray, isn't it? It's a tray, yeah. It's a tray, so we can put a few 
Well, you I put those know. little round bowls and then you put. I don't know bits. what I'm going to do with it, really. And you're going to use it. It's, well, it's too big to go in my fire. <laughs> Won't fit yeah. in the door in my fire. No, we will use it. Oh, look at that. That sits lovely. We we'll use it for fruit. Right. Oh, that's that's actually turned out really nice. It's got a nice yeah. even depth. That I think I've got. Let's feel. Yeah, I've still got about three or four mil, about four mil, yeah. four or five mil in the middle, in about four mil, about four mil there in the middle. So I didn't go. For, oh, <laughs> I didn't go through it. It's just clean. Give it an oil, and it's going to be oil because it's going to be actually a usable Used. piece. This. Yeah. This is going to be a lovely little tray. To bring like some Put cheese and snacks. cheese and biscuits yeah. in on. That's going to be our Christmas tray. That. Yeah. So we've got our chip and dip. Is it chip and dal. Chip, chip and dal. We got our chip and dal. Yeah, you got me, darling. Yeah. Don't worry. You've always got me. I oh, know. You've got your chip and dal. Yeah. <laughs> Don't forget the bow tie. <laughs> <laughs> right. Anyway, let's just clean all that dust off of that. Right. And there we go, guys. So from that piece of Weeping ash Weeping is what that was. Ash. Weeping ash, and there we go. Okay, cool. nice little bowl, and that's finished it's out. Bowl, not bowl. <laughs> uh, nice little uh, tray, nice little tray. That's finished out. That's around four mil, about four mil fit, something like that. Four to, I won't get to five, but maybe maybe five mil. Maybe five mil. I don't want it. I don't want it really. I don't want no. it to flex because it's a tray, isn't it? You know, when Lisa brings my my cheese and biscuits into me, <laughs> right? And the actual finished diameter turned out at twelve and a half, just over twelve and a half. Okay, mm. three hundred and twenty-two mil mm. is what the actual diameter turned out to be. So there we go, guys. Uh, turned out to be a nice little uh, a nice little tray. Okay. I'm getting dust on it. Mm. Never mind. And I, I wanted that little recess in the bottom, and I've done that for. Now, if ever that gets anything like stained on it or stuff like that, I can always bring that down, pop it on there, give it a little, tidy little tidy, little sand, and a tidy up, and it'll be as good as new again. Yeah. That's why things like this, I do like a, I do like a recess. I can always come back and remount it, you know. Yeah. I ain't got room there to to take a foot off and then put another foot on, but I've got the foot there and that recess in there. That's nice. I'm not worried whether people know how I turned it. I, I, I would turn it. Obviously, I had to put it on a lathe, didn't I? <laughs> Can't hide that fact. But I can always remount that, give it another little sand, clean it up. You know, if we get some something spill on it, or yeah. so. But that's going to be a lovely, lovely cheese and cheese and crackers. Yeah, cheese and crackers, a few grapes, yeah. and that's going to be lovely. Right there we go, guys. Hope you enjoyed that one. That's my little tray. Okay. <laughs> Toodle pip guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye guys.